Whitney's World. Thank you everybody who watched the first video. That was awesome. Uh, originally, the plan was that we were going to figure out what nine worked best for me and then go from there. And then there was the idea on Facebook that I should try out different calibers. Thank you, Melissa. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. So I'm shooting everything from 22 to 45 long colt that could also work as a 410. So we're starting off with the 22. It's the Browning Buckmark III. It's already locked and loaded. Let's see how she goes. And here we are with the Keltec P32. Now it's time for the 380, it's the Beretta 84. It's a very historic piece. Here comes the 38 special. It's a Smith and Wesson 637. Okay. So my grip is going to be different. Let's see if I do this right. And because I have wimpy fingers, I'm going to pull the trigger back instead of doing double action. Oh, is it dead? Oh God, I hated that. And now we're back to the nine. This is the SIG P226. Okay, now I'm going to do the 40 cal. This is the Glock 22. And I'm really trying to focus on my grip and my stance here. But I get a little sidetracked when we start firing. So let's see. as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, now comes the 45. It's the Springfield Armory Champion Operator. It's a 1911. Let's see if I'm a champion operator. Probably, probably not, but it's okay. So 
here's another 45. It's the FNX 45 with a silencer co, Osprey suppressor. Put that all down. Smoking. Okay, we're going to end with the judge. I have to say it. Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't judge me. So I just shot the 45 long colt. Now I'm going to do the 410. Shoot. Thanks for joining me today, me and my Wiley XI Pro. Uh, to take a look at my target here, there's not a whole lot to brag about, but I do want to point out, if you look very closely, there's a little bit of a heart right there. So I'm going to brag about that. Heart. Right there. Okay, welcome folks. So this is the, uh, the closing out of this video. As you can see, it's the 22 to the 45 long Colt. Uh, the 22 was nice. It's a lower caliber gun, so it was easier to shoot. The 32 is pretty much right there with the 22, except the sizing of it with my hands just doesn't really work that well. It was really hard to hold on to it. The 380, um, I'm really neither here nor there with it. It wasn't bad. Um, I kind of really don't remember it that much. So I feel like that says something. Maybe not. The 38, I do not like. Uh, first of all, I don't like double action. My fingers just can't really handle it that well. And it's me too. Um, well, my fingers are me. But anyway. And the 9, surprisingly, I didn't like the SIGS version. It just felt like it was jerky in my hands. And when I tried the 40, it was amazing. The, the difference, even though the 40 was a, is a higher caliber, it just it was easier to manipulate. The 45s, the suppressor. There's a lot of weight on there, so that was that was interesting. That was interesting. Um, the Springfield was was all right. Uh, the FN didn't like me that much, but it wasn't that difficult to shoot. And the 45 long colt, I already knew that that was probably not going to be the best thing for me, but it was fun while it lasted. So I think all in all, I probably am just going to stick with the nines and work with those here on out. But it was exciting. And thank you again, Melissa, for giving me that idea. Something fun and different. <laughs>